plants that have a strong architectural element to them, whether that be a very dramatic foliage or beautifully rounded silhouettes or lollipop shapes or even splaying foliage um, is really crucial in good garden design and that's because without them your eye doesn't have a place to rest. So gardens end up looking very busy or messy or even just plain boring. So the same rules apply in the garden as they would in your living room. We all know that uh, you need a focal point in your living room, something like a fireplace for example. Well these architectural plants do exactly the same thing but because they draw the eye to them. When choosing an architectural plant for your garden, of course, you've got to bear in mind um, what sort of conditions you're going to be growing it in and find something that's ideally suited to those conditions. But also keep in mind the eventual height and spread of a plant. If you're in a little courtyard garden, the last thing you need is a massive tree that's going to take over. And finally, keep in mind when placing these plants that, that you can use them in open clusters or even dot them in patterns throughout the borders. And that way it just draws your eye along the length of the garden.